Hello guys and gals, and welcome to another episode of Skills and Abilities. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the uh, last golem on the list, which is the Fire Golem. Yes, the Fiery Fyro of Fireness. Um, I'm pretty sure I haven't done a video on this one yet. So the Fire Golem is a rather unique golem uh, that's supposed to be more about like AoE damage than he is about anything else. Uh, the Fire Golem has the Holy Fire Aura. He also has some other interesting mechanics, as well as an absorption mechanic, which involves fire damage. Uh, which basically means that the Fire Golem can technically absorb fire damage when it comes up. And uh, it's supposed to kind of heal him and make him essentially invulnerable to fire. You know, like, like fire bad. Um... They recently did some patch changes on the Fire Golem to increase his uh, the level of the Fire Golem's aura. And um, I believe they maintained those patch changes. Um, it just uh, it got kind of like rolled back and then reapplied and, and a bunch of other stuff. And it has upped his Holy Fire damage by quite a bit. Um, let's explore what he would look like maxed out real quickly, uh, just for the giggles and, and giggles. Uh, so, first off, to max him out, you're obviously going to have to go down to the Fire Golem itself, and you're going to have to put 20 points into the Fire Golem, which is going to give you a pretty nice fire damage of 1,325 to 1,568. Uh, also, the Holy Fire damage is 139 to 330. Um, he absorbs 97% of all fire damage at this point, which means that any fire damage that comes in is likely going to heal him instead of actually hurting him. Uh, this does not mean, of course, that he's going to be, um, you know, doing very well against other elements. Um, his life is only 1,063, which is very pathetic. And uh, quite honestly, um, he dies a lot in this form. So without additional buffs, um, if you take him into, say, like the Frigid Highlands or something, and you let him fight, um, he will do very badly. He also gets chilled which is probably one of the silliest things imaginable, since he is actually a fire golem. You would think that a fire golem would be immune to chilling, but uh, but no, he's uh, he gets he gets chilly, my boys. He gets chilly. Um, as you can see, even maxed out, he is kind of ridiculous um, as far as death is concerned. So what do you have to do to make him stronger? Well, you need to get him golem mastery. And you need to get him Summoner Assistance. These are two things that are going to be very strong to help keep him alive. And uh, now you can see he has life of 5,723, which is a hell of a lot better. Um, and uh, I would recommend that if you're going to run the Fire Golem, you're probably going to want to go ahead and max out the Golem Mastery to bring his life up to 9,572, which is nowhere near the life of something like the Blood Golem at 32,334 or the Clay Golem at um, 22,607. But uh, but 9,572 is definitely a lot better than uh, than previous. Now, um, there's nothing to beef up the damage of the Fire Golem. So once you've got the Fire Golem uh, maxed out, that's as high as the damage as he's ever going to get. Um, he is, uh, unlike the other Golems, which you can build up the Fire Golem for to increase the damage, as you can see the Clay Golem gets a 6% damage bonus per level from the Fire Golem. The Fire Golem doesn't get any damage from any other sources. Um, he does get attack rating from the clay golem and he gets life per level from the blood golem so if we were to max him out completely we would max out the blood golem max out the clay golem and then he could get a little bit of defense from the iron golem if we wanted and that would make him pretty darn tanky at uh, 10,535 life um, 1570 attack rating 1670 defense and uh, you can see his damage isn't like too insane Let's uh, test him out, though, just for fun. Now, one thing you, you can do to increase the damage of a Fire Golem is to obviously get yourself the Lower Resistance Curse. Um, now, I've <laughs> made that impossible because I spent all my points on the Golem. So uh, let's go ahead and reset real quick. Let's go ahead and grab our Lower Resistance Curse first. And out of fairness, let's go ahead and max out the Lower Resistance Curse so we have the highest possible level. And uh, then let's go ahead and beef up our fire gold. And we're going to do the clay golem for the attack rating. And then the blood golem for the life. And there we go. So now we have technically our highest damage, tankiest fire golem. Now one thing I'm going to warn you about right away with the fire golem is he's not eminently recastable. 
you might be asking what that means. Well, look at his mana cost. It's 378 mana at level 42. You can't cast him very many times before you have completely run out of mana. Um, so having a fire golem that dies a lot is going to be a very, very bad thing when it comes to uh, the fire golem. Uh, because he's, he is going to eat up your mana like crazy. And if you don't have a relatively large mana pool, um, well, you might not even be able to cast him. Because the 378 is high enough that you might not even have 378 mana. All right, so here we go. We're going to test him out in a new scenario. We're going to throw a lower resistance up. Uh, so now he's doing basically the maximum amount of damage that he can possibly dish out, both in his physical damage that he's actually outputting, his fire damage that he's outputting, as well as his holy fire aura, which is, of course is pulsing on all the targets. Um, lower resistance is giving him the best possible chance for this. Um, there is a, a kind of like a theory that you could build kind of like an elemental damage necromancer. So what you would do is you would max out, of course, the fire golem. You would max out the mages um, to go along with the fire golem. And, uh, and then, you, of course, you would max out lower resistance to allow yourself to lower the resistances of all the monsters nearby. So you're dishing out pretty good amount of damage. Um, as you can see, even in Players 1 Hell, with basically the maxed out fire golem, He's not really that effective as far as killing things. Um, I mean, he can kill things, but not really that great. Um, he does have a very nice AoE damage, which just constantly pulses on all the targets. Um, unfortunately, the main problem is, is that it really doesn't do enough damage. Uh, we're talking about uh, a pulse of 139 to 330, which is just absolutely pathetic. Um, it could definitely be doubled or even tripled and still not have the effect um, that we are looking for. I mean, if you doubled it, that would be, what, 660? If you tripled it, that would be 990. Um, and 990 still might not be enough to actually kill anything. Um, as you can see, though, he is eventually killing things, and this is mainly due to his physical damage or his, uh, his main attack, which is 1,325 to 1,568. Combined with the lower resistance, it does give him enough to slowly kill a target. And when I mean slowly, I mean slowly. Where is uh, the guy who's applying the cold damage? Now, if he were properly supported by an army... He could definitely do a little bit better. Um, I do feel like you'd be more uh, apt at just doing amp damage so that the army was doing more damage. Um, but if you were going to roll with mages, for instance, uh, lower resistance would obviously help out the mage damage. Um, but you could, of course, be running the fire golem as a poison and bone necromancer. So um, you can kind of synergize everything. And this is kind of the entire point. So let me go back to town so I don't have all this uh, noise. Um, so let's say, for instance, you were going to be a Poison Nova Necromancer, um, and, uh, and you built Max Poison. So uh, let's let's play around with this in the in the skill tree real quickly. All right, so we're going to go ahead and cap out Poison Dagger. We're going to cap out Poison Explosion. We're going to cap out Poison Nova. All right, so that's 20, 40, 60 points that we've basically just blown right there, uh, 61, 62. Um, if we want to get lower resistance, we've got to go down to lower res, which is going to burn quite a few points as well. And uh, we don't necessarily have to cap it out, um, so we could potentially leave it just like that at uh, level 14. That's not bad with a negative 59%. Um, and then at that point, uh, we're going to want our, our golem. So, um, man, that's uh, it's quite a bit of points here. So let's go ahead and um, put in this so we got that. And we're going to come down here. We're going to grab the golem. Um, we might actually be better off. I'm trying to think here. Yeah, we, we probably want to max him out. Um, and then we're going to max out the mages as high as we can get them. And so now we have our build where we're basically a poison nova necromancer um, who also has a uh, fire golem. So we're running the fire golem. Um, we're going to grab... You know, let's grab some easy minions from Anya's temple here. Skeletons first. Mm -hmm. 
All right. And then, of course, we're going to need some curses. And our beautiful poison aura. And the goal of this is literally just to make sure that we have um, abused, essentially, the direction that we're going as much as possible. So since we're going in the direction of elemental damage, why not have, um, you know, lower resistance along with our uh, poison nova so that we have both. Now we have the poison going, we've got the fire going, we've got multiple different elements. The uh, lower resistance can help out my poison, the lower resistance can help out my mages, the lower resistance can help out my fire golem and so forth and so on. And, uh, and the skeletons can act as a shield, essentially, for my damage. Um, this can all be um, made even better, like for instance, if you were utilizing um, the correct equipment, like maybe you had a really nice um, white wand, you wouldn't have to put any points into lower resist. Um, you might not even have to put any points into uh, revives or anything like that. Um, you could obviously be utilizing more specific equipment for a poison and bone necromancer too, like death's web or maybe a plague sword or something like that all of, all of which could be very interesting a plague dagger uh, which could spam the lore resistance for you but the general idea here with the with a fire golem is to kind of lean into your strength so if you're already going down the poison and bone tree if you're already going to be casting lore resistance on a regular basis um, the fire golem kind of makes sense from the perspective of hey I can dish out even more damage with fire. My fire golem can, uh, you know, just kind of just be tanky or whatever you want to call it. Um, but at 5,723 life, he might not actually survive um, certain encounters. And, and if your golem isn't staying alive, it's an issue. Um, so you might have to lean more heavily into the golem mastery side than in the fire golem itself, which is going to reduce his overall damage and is obviously not going to be super great. Um, there's really not a whole lot more to talk about with the Fire Golem. It's a, he's a very odd duck. Um, he also has an explosion. So I for, actually forgot to talk about this. So when the Fire Golem dies and when the Fire Golem is made new, um, there is an explosion. Um, a lot of people don't know this about the Fire Golem. It is definitely an odd quirk. Um, and, um... Basically, the Fire Golem has multiple different uh, abilities. He has Holy Fire, obviously. Um, he has the fire damage that he dishes out from hitting things. Um, he also has the, the on-death and on-life explosion. Um, it's kind of hard to show this off because a lot of people... Um, a lot of monsters can't even withstand a Holy Fire, like on the lower levels. And the amount of damage that he does in, in the explosion isn't really that high. You can cast him over and over again, but the problem is, is with his 378 mana cost, it um, it's very hard to get an idea of like how quickly they actually did this on purpose, by the way, because people used to spam cast him. Uh, let me see if I can find a nice little group of monsters. And of course, as you can see, I can hardly even cast it multiple times. Um, I used to take advantage of this back in the day with PvP uh, before they had beefed up his, his mana cost. <laughs> Is that basically you could just spam cast him from inside of town and uh, and he would dish out fire damage to everything nearby. And, uh, and you could cast him so fast with faster cast and things like that that you could essentially just stand here and just... You could kill somebody just by spam casting the fire golem over and over again. Uh, which I guess, you know, is why they beefed up his mana in the first place. <laughs> um, do, 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 do. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I've left out. Hmm. Uh, one thing that I, I did leave out is um, he's a fire goal. Right? Which might have gone over some people's heads. He's a fire goal. 
Fire is one of the uh, worst elements in Hell Difficulty. The majority of the monsters are either immune to fire or almost immune to fire in most regards. So the damage that it says that he does is actually surprisingly lower than what it actually states. Because most monsters tend to have like 50% fire resistance, if not more. And there are so many fire immune monsters that even if you're breaking them with lower resistance, they're mostly immune to the fire resistance. And yes, by applying a lower resistance, you can definitely make some of those monsters that are, say, 50% resistant closer to zero or lower. But there are so many fire immunes that the fire golem just kind of is not the greatest choice. Now, um, as a poison necromancer, you've already got one element. Um, so having a second element is definitely not a bad thing. But the problem is, is that he's really not that great of a second element. Not for the amount of points that you have to invest into him to get him up to what is ra a rather mediocre amount of damage. Anyway, as always, I do appreciate you guys and gals watching my videos. And uh, keep watching. And don't explode. Definitely don't explode. I need you guys to hit that like button. Don't explode. <laughs>